too much like this you gonna see my hair or something but today we got it all under the cap sis a cap we got it under the cap so without further ado let's bring my best friend all right hold on look at a little bit crusty and dusty i wish i would have showed y'all her earlier but this is my baby and she's been working for me she's been with me for three months yes y'all this is correct she is a synthetic wig don't do her okay she been through it a little bit you know but yeah this is a synthetic unit all right let me get the information over here don't look at my box y'all so this wig is about archre 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 whatever okay y'all know what i'm saying so let's get into some beats um, this is a, a lace front wig unit. It's from their Premier Synthetic Fibers, uh, their little collection. There we go, we're looking for collection. The collection is called Big Beautiful Hair. And I have her in, I have her in a style 4B crown curl and the color is DR30. And y'all know, if y'all know me, I do not like jet black hair um, because I feel like it really don't do so much for my, my eyes and stuff like that. But yeah, this is why I always have colored hair. Oh, and how can I forget? She is a pre-plucked parting and it's soft Swiss lace. And she does come with baby hairs, okay? You might have to trim on them baby hairs, but she do come with baby hairs, okay? Get into it, yes. Um, also, like I said, big beautiful hair that's how it looks all right so she was i paid 49.99 plus tax if you see right there okay and what else am i missing am i missing anything else i don't think i am so let's get into the construction of this wig so as you can see this is the um lace right here oh i hope this is in the camera okay so this is the lace right here as you can see yeah you actually could see my finger there which is good so just let you know that your scalp is going to shine and show through you're not going to have a problem you don't have to tint this moisturize this put uh makeup on this because i don't i just use this cap in my part okay because we don't do too much over here um, I did not pluck her at all, as y'all can see. No plucking, never did anything, don't know how to do it. So I like to go for wigs that I don't have to do that stuff too. Um, I'm trying to find her baby hairs because I already cut her and everything. Well, let me see if I can find the baby hairs and what it's giving. I cut her baby hairs and stuff already. So this is a pinch of the baby hair that I found. Okay. They pre they came pretty long, so you can like a customize to you. So this is the baby hair right here, okay? Just about that length. I cut them and I swoop them to the side. So that's why she kind of looking tattered. I said, I wish I would have showed you guys this week early. When she first came, she was like grandma, okay? Grandma. She did not look like the girl on the package. She looked like straight runny. But I saw reviews, so I'm just like, no, I want to get this wig and I feel like I can do something with it. Um, her curl pattern was like straws when you first got her. Like they was kind of more straw, kind of like this, but I, you know, they I wore it for two months. So her pattern hasn't changed too much. Just got bigger and the hair sticks together because I don't be coming my wheels. I will, I'm not gonna lie. But you see what she giving. She, she's not that bad. And then I'm, I'm um, straightening this out. I'm gonna show you guys the process still anyway. Cause my process never changed when I did it. She's pretty short. She, I'll say she's about like 12 to 14. 
maybe inches but keep in mind that's in curls though okay she's not too long um yeah so let's get into the sides of the wig because my phone cut off on me i don't know what's going on so as you can see she has like the little stretchy line thing where you can clip it to your head if your head is small this wig construction if you had a big head i barely fit my head in this so if your head is anything bigger than this honey good child you might not want to get it as left, unless you can um, tend to squeeze your head inside and try to get your head to fit in and break it in that way like you break in a shoe. Um, but yeah, so let's get into it. We have two side combs, okay? One right here, one right there. We also have a bottom comb at the nape as well. And she does have, like I said, the strings where you can make them tighter, but you're not going to need that. Um, the construction on here is really good. Like I said, it's Swiss lace. So it's one of the softest laces. And for this to be synthetic, like that is crazy. Uh, it wasn't hard for me to cut the lace at all. And this is the parting space. I say this is about like one, one and a half inch, but it's a really good parting space. As you can see, you don't need it. And it's about three to four inches back. So like for a natural head, you know, like we a naturally part our own hair. All right, so let's put this baby on and pray my phone will come back off. All right, if you look on me, yes, this is the hair y'all been seeing me in. Hello, big, beautiful hair. The type of hair I love, I do not like straight hair on me. But like, since my head is big, this is me and this is my personality. So let's get into it. So use this um, hot comb. Um, it's by Red and I got Red by Kiss. Um, I got to be from the beauty supply store, of course. I have her on 270 degrees. They claim that she can go up to 400, but I would never do that. I don't use it to comb her out. What I do, this is what I do. So, I grab mousse. If y'all want to know what kind of mousse it is, it's this brand, a lot of body. So, I just do one, two, maybe three, because I like to do it with my hair first. I got to get some mousse, y'all. So, I like to do it up there. And the reason if you don't know why you use mousse is to keep away fly, um, flyaways and to make your hair less frizzy. So when I say that worked for me, for this wig, yes, as long as I've had it, I definitely feel like it's a big part in why it lasted so long. Now, if I would put her on a mannequin head and treat her a little better, it could last even longer. <laughs> okay, but we don't do that. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take my heart comb. I'm going to use the back part of it. And hopefully I'm in camera. And we're just going to do that. You can hear the hair cooking. That's not my hair, so relax. This is why I don't use heat on my hair. But on her, she we're using it on her. So when the wig first came, long story short, it was kind of giving that wiggy feel. And I was still new to the game, so I'm like, dang, how could I? get rid of that at the time. Like, I don't want to hump up the top of my head. The part is supposed to last as possible. This is why we do this. This is why those YouTube get rules be doing this, get rules. So I do that a couple times to make her flat as possible. So like she came from my scalp, okay? We're not done though. And I promise this is beginner friendly cause it don't save me long. When I'm not, you know, instructing, it only takes me about five minutes to do all this anyway. So you're going to turn it off so you don't burn yourself because I will forget and it will fall on me and burn me. If y'all want to see my burn mark, let me know. <laughs> All right, so we got that out the way. And then I'm just going to grab a little more body and, you know, put her on each side because she tends to be dry. All right. It look like the crochet hair. I hear a little bit, don't it? I know, but it's not. Because if y'all saw that video, y'all see the difference. So... Then I say, but if you want to make it look like more natural, use the mousse for your the, uh, lay your baby hairs down. But I use this because she don't go nowhere with this, and it may not look less natural, but I like it. Um, so I grab some, put it on my brush, and I'm talking about this. Everybody knows I love the heck out of these waxes in every video I do. So we're just I'm feeling for my baby hair from the unit. And uh, y'all probably see it more like this. She a little lost in the sauce because I had her for so long. But, um, yeah, I'm not going to lie that. Okay, so I have her over there. So, 
I put some in the front of my part like this, like so. And then I just do that. Like, you know, hold her down. Like she been rocking with me since day one. And I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna do the same, sis. So, you know, you just do it like that and it be looking crazy at first, so you just gotta play with it. And then you might wanna use a comb to make it um, look more natural. Like I said, when you use blue mousse, mousse oh, it looks more natural. But she be working for me. Cause y'all be like, how do you make it like it come from your scalp since so you finna see? That's how. Can we answer that? That's how we get her like this. And it's literally gonna take me like anywhere from two to five minutes to do. Especially if I already comb my hair at night and I already and did stuff like that. Not hard to do. So yes, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and it's um rig review. It's really rig review, but I need to show y'all how to put it on. Um hopefully you enjoyed it. And like I said, I will be leaving the links in the descriptions below. So check that description box out. That's also, you can follow me on Instagram there as well. And it go directly to me because I know y'all be lazy as hell. Um, but yeah, like I said, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you're going to be copying this wig anytime soon. And until next time, also comment below in the comment description, um, the comment box, what you guys want to see from me. Like, I'm here, I'm popping, we coming out in the video. So... While um y'all watching this video, just comment below what y'all want to see from me. And thank you for tuning in and supporting your girl as always. See you next time. Bye. See y'all.